Learn to design this multi-body coaster in FreeCAD. All steps for this will be shown in this video. You may have seen this step many times. Create a new sketch in the Part Design Workbench. And click on the plane you want to sketch on, it will be the bottom plane in this video. Now go to the Circle tool and click on the origin. Drag the mouse and enter a diameter of 10 mm. Create another circle with a diameter of 100 mm. Click close to exit the sketch. When selecting the pad feature, choose an extrusion length of 4 mm. This will be the thickness of the coaster. Then click OK to apply. Click on the top face and create a new sketch. Select the circle tool and click on the origin. White lines are difficult to see on a white object. So click on the eye icon next to the pad feature to hide the extrusion. Enter a diameter of 85 mm. This will be the outer edge of the cutouts. Then draw five more circles on the origin. Right click to exit the circle tool. Select the line tool. And draw a vertical line from the outer circle to the inner circle as shown. Also draw a horizontal line the same way. Right click to exit the line tool. Now select the trim feature. And click on all the circles outside the top left quarter. Then click on all these lines to create three contours. It's time to add construction lines between the contours. Toggle construction mode. And select the line tool. Draw three vertical construction lines as shown and end on the horizontal axis. Also draw two horizontal construction lines. The third line is not necessary. That's because all center points are on the origin. Right click to exit the line tool. It's time to select all short lines of the contours. Make them all equal by using this constraint tool. Click on this line and make it vertical if necessary. Select these three construction lines and make them equal. Select the dimension tool and add a length of four millimeter to one short line. While the dimension tool is still active, click on this vertex. Add a distance of 3 mm from the vertical axis. As you see, some lines are not aligned. Right-click to exit the dimension tool. Select one and make it horizontal or vertical. The sketch is fully constrained now. When deleting a construction line, there's one degree of freedom. That means it's not fully constrained. Let's undo that to make the sketch fully constrained again. The cutouts are completed so you can exit the sketch. This video is sponsored by PCB Way. You can export 3D models directly to their website with this macro. Then select how it should be manufactured and configure your project details. Finally, preview your 3D model and submit your manufacturing request. Now select the pocket tool. Select through all to cut through the whole object. 
Click on OK to apply. Time to add some fillets. Select all these corner edges. Don't forget to hold control while selecting the edges. A total of 12 edges should be selected. Select the fillet tool and enter a radius of 0.75 mm. Click on OK to apply. All fillets are added. Now select the pocket and the fillet feature while holding control. Select the polar pattern tool. Enter four occurrences. Here you see which features are selected for the pattern. I forgot to add chamfers to the cutouts. Click cancel to abort the pattern operation. To add chamfers, you only have to select one edge of each contour. Select these three edges while holding control. And go to the chamfer tool. Leave the size at 1 mm and click on OK. Now select pocket, fillet, and chamfer here in the tree. Select the polar pattern tool again. Enter four occurrences. Features like chamfers and fillets must be placed after the pocket to apply them to a pattern. Click on OK to apply the pattern. Click on this eye icon to show the origin planes. Select the bottom plane and create a new sketch. Click the same eye icon again to hide the origin planes. Turn off construction mode with this button. Select the circle tool and draw a circle of 10 mm on the origin. Click on close to exit the sketch. Select the pad feature to extrude the circle. Enter a length of 2 mm, which is half the thickness of the coaster, and click on OK. When you want to rename a body, select it and press F2. Enter a name and press Enter. Now create a new second body. Consider subscribing if you like my content. Thanks. Click on this eye icon to show the origin planes. It seems the bottom plane is aligned with the bottom of the coaster. Click the same eye icon again to hide the origin planes. The sketch must be on top, so click on the top face of the coaster. Create a new sketch, leave this option selected and click on OK. Click on this eye icon to hide the reference face from the other body. Select the circle tool and draw a circle of 9.7 mm on the origin. It will be a little smaller because it's a 3D printable object that must fit inside. Click close to exit the sketch. Select the pad feature to extrude the circle. Check reversed and enter a length of 2 mm. Click on OK to apply. Now right click on the second body and select appearance. Select custom appearance and then diffuse color. Select a red color and click on OK. Then click close twice to exit the appearance menu. Double click on the coaster body to make it active. And add a chamfer to this outer edge. Leave the size at 1 mm and click on OK to apply. And here it is, a coaster with a target inside. You might want to check out my 3D printing channel for more tutorials and projects.